This is a crime. Am I Delulu? I'm having a Delulu moment, you guys. This, this is the vibe. This feels like art. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I'm in art class. Before and after in like five seconds. Just in case the showers are still broken. <laughs> Good morning vlog fam. Welcome back to a new vlog. We are taking a walk on a bike path today. Yar is running ahead. Me and Bruno are walking. I have an Alani Juicy Peach. I thought it was going to be more sunny, but sunglasses are up. It's kind of nice out actually. It's not like too hot. It's a little humid, but not too shabby. So great way to start the morning. It's like eight o'clock. And we're just having a good walk and listening to podcasts. Okay, this is also like prime, like morning affirmations time. So I normally do them in the morning, either while I do my skincare or while I drive to the gym, but doing it on a walk is even better. There's like no one close enough to me <laughs> where I feel like I can't say them out loud because I genuinely feel like saying them out loud. You have the option to say them in your head or out loud, but I feel like saying them out loud resonates more. So. I mentioned it in like my chatty video recently, doing morning affirmations. I will link the video I use every morning and I feel like it's genuinely helped me with like anxiety lately and positive mindset shifts. So yeah, try it. Try it every morning for like a few weeks and just see if you like notice some shifts because I've definitely noticed them. So we're back home and this is a crime. <laughs> There is hardly any avocado. Look at this big ass seed. <laughs> okay, I just unboxed this Apple Watch band. It is so good. So it's actually like silver and gold, which I think is nice because like some of my jewelry is silver, some of it's gold. And I just, I normally wear my watch on my right hand because I don't like it conflicting with like my wedding ring. <laughs> I know it's so silly. I just, I like having it separate because it just, it feels kind of like, it kills the vibe. <laughs> So I normally wear it over here, but then it covers some of my fearless tattoo. Um, but yeah, I actually kind of like it. This is kind of a more dressy version. So normally I use this watch band. So this is also from Amazon. I've had this for like a year. This part has tarnished, but otherwise it's been great. So I literally just ordered a new one. It's like, I think six or seven bucks. And yeah, I just got a replacement for it and it's absolutely great. So I love this. I didn't have to remove any links and that way I can kind of wear it up higher on my wrist, but you know, it would definitely fit um, even a bigger wrist if you just wore it down lower. But I kind of like the look of wearing your watch a little up higher on the arm, but it did come with a thing to remove links. So this is a big wrist friendly watch band and it's so cute. It's kind of giving like, bougie watch vibe i actually don't mind it on the left hand this is exciting okay so i will link these two apple watch bands below i literally ordered them last night and they came this morning so amazing and i'm going to the beach tomorrow um my mom and i are trying to soak up all the last little bits of summer so you guys know that like strapless one piece i've been wearing it's like pink i got it from amazon i ordered it in black because i have been committed to no tan lines y'all I have literally been wearing my straps down or only bandeaus. So I love this bandeau bathing suit. I'll probably vlog tomorrow too, and then you guys can see it on, but I love this bathing suit. Um, I also need to go to the nail salon. Guys, I don't know what's going on, but the last few times I've been getting dip powder, like right after one of them chips. I don't know what's going on. This one chipped the day after I got them done. This one chipped yesterday. This one has a crack too, you can't see it, but like, what is going on? I, I, it never used to do that, so um, I'm just really confused, but I mean, my place is great, they'll fix them for free, but it's just kind of annoying to always have to go back. Let me know what you guys get for nails. What is more sturdy? Like I'm, at this point, I just want something that's gonna actually last the full two weeks without cracking or chipping. So um, I know a lot of people do Gel X, but like, I don't think my place does Gel X. I don't know, so let me know. But I do love this watch band. So I just opened my morning Amazon package and this was finally back in stock. So everyone seems to be loving clean, simple eats. And you guys know I'm about a protein girly. So apparently people have been loving this flavor for a protein smoothie and if you add some peanut butter, it will taste like Reese's. I love Reese's. So um, I figured we could try it out and 
see if it's good. So because it's my first time trying it, I'm going to keep it super simple to kind of see how the flavor is. So I'm just going to do one scoop, which has 110 calories and 20 grams of protein. One scoop of that. Oh, wait, they have a, they have a recipe. Wait, should I do the recipe? <laughs> This sounds so good. Um, I'm just gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna do my own thing for now. I'm just gonna do a scoop of this, a little bit of peanut butter. I'm gonna grab some frozen banana from the freezer and then unsweetened vanilla almond milk and some ice. Okay, don't mind my hair. I just threw it up because I was sweaty. This is such a big smoothie. I ended up having to do um, a not frozen banana and add ice, so it's kind of big, but let's see how the flavor is. Okay, it's really good. I don't know if it tastes like a Reese's, it's got a good flavor. It's not like giving like super protein powdery because like that's the worst. I hate like proteiny protein powders that have like that, I don't know, it's hard to describe that like chalky taste, but it has a really good flavor. So yeah, it was just unsweetened almond milk, banana, about a tablespoon of peanut butter, a scoop of that powder and ice. And I feel like if I didn't do the ice and I just did like frozen banana and the almond milk, it would have been like a little bit creamier because the ice kind of like waters it down a little bit, but overall, good flavor. And then the last thing in my Amazon package today, I just ordered more of my favorite Quest chips. This is my favorite flavor, cheddar and sour cream. Oh, they're so good. So I just get like a big pack on Amazon. I don't know, I just love the flavor of these. I'm gonna put these away in the pantry. And then we're gonna head to the salon. I will link these as well. If you want like a good protein chip, mm, 19 grams of protein, they're just so yummy. One eternity later. Hello you guys, I'm checking in. I am heading to go grab us some salads. Did I pass it? Am I, am I losing my mind? I think I passed it. Am I Delulu? I'm having a Delulu moment, you guys. I can't remember where the sweet green is. Oh my gosh, I was literally just here a few days ago. <laughs> Wait, no way I passed it. I think I passed it. Am I okay? <laughs> I think I passed it. Okay, we're looping around. Anyway, um, I just went and got my nails fixed. Thank gosh. So I asked the guy fixing them and he's always kind of like in charge. I was like, what do you recommend like so this doesn't happen? And he was saying how because the dip powder, every time they take them off, it leaves your like your natural nail very like thin. That's why it cracks. Um, oh, I did pass it. <laughs> cracks, so it, when you do dip on like longer natural nails, like mine are right now, they're more prone to cracking, but if they're short, it wouldn't be prone to cracking. So he recommended going back to like that UV, like soft gel stuff for when my nails are longer, but that stuff hurts. And I just like, I just feel like uncomfortable with the UV light. I don't know, it just feels a little scary and I told him that and he like laughed about it and he's like everything gives you cancer now and I'm like mm, I don't know <laughs> you make me nervous so anyway um I'm going to get Yara and I some salads for lunch <laughs> that's where I'm at but my nails are fixed so at least I can relax because it was driving me bonkers anytime I would like just run my fingers through my hair put on my clothes and it would snag it's just like the worst feeling so nails are fixed I'm gonna just run inside and get a couple of harvest bowls. It's 11.30, so it shouldn't be like, shouldn't be too busy. I didn't even end up finishing that smoothie. I put it back in the fridge because it was huge. <laughs> it was a lot. Gorgeous. Real talk, you will get a better salad if you go wait in line. And there was literally no one in line <laughs> because it was before noon. It gets a little crazy between like, lunch break times but you'll get a better salad if you wait in line and versus ordering it on the app and going to pick it up that's just a pro tip it's like that a sweet green i don't know maybe just at mine many hours later all right guys pardon the fact that this is just like how we're gonna look today it is too humid to do my hair and do my makeup i'm just chilling in comfy clothes, but I'm so excited. If it's not obvious, I have been obsessed with Halara. So I just got in a new Halara package. So I thought I would unbox it with you and try them on. You guys know I have seen them all over 
the internet. <laughs> they're just so popular. So I finally tried them and they actually sponsored me and they're sponsoring this video. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring because I wear those cargo pants, those stretchy wide leg cargo pants like all the time when it's not too hot. I show them all the time in vlogs. Like I genuinely am obsessed with them. All of the stuff from Hawara is so stretchy. If you are just like a comfort queen like me, comfy, stretchy, like kind of like it feels like kind of cooling on the skin. That's the vibe of Hawara. It's actually funny because I'm wearing a different pair of Hawara shorts right now. I was too hot in my leggings. So these are from my last Hawara haul. These like kind of stretchy, like ugh, everything they have is stretchy, but like double layer shorts. Um, <laughs> they're so nice. Telling you, I've been like living in Holara. And before we hop into this haul, you guys can get 20% off of full priced items from holara.com using my code AR0. AR0 for 20% off. And I'll link all these items down below. But let's get into it. Okay, so first up, I want to try on this little skirt. I got this in a 1X. Um, and then it has like these cute little tie strings on the side. And then look how cute this top is here. And then it's like kind of open and crisscrossed in the back. I think that would look really cute together. Okay, this top is so fun. I like how it's almost kind of like a muted tie-dye stitch. And the back is so fun. Ties and you can adjust like your strap length that way. Strap length, it's a tongue twister. You can adjust like if you need it bigger or tighter. And I love this skirt so much. You can like adjust the tie scrunching to be more scrunched or not but it does have shorts underneath which is always great it's just like one of those athletic tennis skirts that everyone's loving right now but i like it with the scrunching and i love how high up it comes as a nice thick band just like again so stretchy so like soft and silky on the skin all their stuff built-in cups here okay up next you guys might remember i got this fun kind of zip up top here in white and i love it so much i grabbed it in black i think it would look cute with this skirt okay yeah so i love this top because you can zip it up all the way and have like this kind of mock neck that doesn't look great on me though so i like this with the skirt it kind of looks like a dress this this is the vibe okay because like we're all about comfort and we're going into fall i got two pairs of these crisscross waistband flare leggings. I got this really pretty kind of salmon-y color and then a pair of navy blue. Look at the stretch. I think I got these. I got these in a 1X too. So I sized down on the bottom. Okay, and I didn't even realize these have really cute little slits on the side. Look how cute. So stretchy. Like definitely feels like a second skin. And we all know this fun little crossover waistband is so popular right now. And then pockets. And then these are just the same in this color. But these pants, <laughs> these are the star of the show. It's so cool. When I saw these, I was like, this is gonna be so cool for fall fashion. Okay, I won't lie, it took me a second to put these pants on, but they have directions because it can be actually worn two different ways. So first is like pants and they are so comfy. And definitely you could wear these elevated. Look how cool. Look how cool these are. So yeah, they, I mean, just look at the page. I'll have everything linked below in order for you to check out, but they were not hard to put on. You just gotta, you just gotta know what you're doing. But it took two seconds once I looked at the directions. They are so soft and flowy. I feel like these would look so cool dressed up for like work or something or like dressed more casual. I won't even explain to you how to put them on. You can just look, but they're so comfy. And now I'm gonna show you how to wear it as a jumpsuit. A few moments later. All right, it did not look good on me as a jumpsuit. So I love it in pants, just not the vibe for me <laughs> with the jumpsuit, but it would be a vibe for a lot of you. And then lastly, I wanted to try one of their like, kind of like going out LBD little black dress vibe. But like what's great is you wouldn't know by looking at this that it's like, feels like an athletic dress. <laughs> this dress is a vibe. I'd have to be feeling real confident <laughs> to wear this, but I do love it. I love this high slit and then it has like little cutouts here. And it is just, again, like so stretchy and comfy, like a second skin. And then it has all of this in the back. 
I hope that if you see me showing my back rolls, you'll feel comfortable sharing yours because life is too short. This dress is really, really fire. And built-in cups, again, so you don't have to worry about a bra. You don't have to worry about comfort. It is so comfortable. I wanted to try a few pieces out of my comfort zone this time, but also get a few comfy pieces. Well, it's all comfortable, but you know what I mean? Comfy for my soul. Again, everything is so just like feels great on the body. Um, fall's coming up. Great time to check things out. This was all plus size. They have straight size, plus size. So if you guys have been thinking about trying Halara, this is your sign. I know you guys will be like swooning over the quality because it's just so great and it's at like a really affordable price point. And you guys can actually get 20% off all full price items using my card, my card, my card, I'm Australian, my code AR0 for 20% off full price items. AR0, 20% off. And I will link all this, like I said, in order down below if you want to check out any of it. But I'm going to put back my stretchy shorts that I had on from Alara. Okay, I'm going to make my sweet little boy a licking mat. I got inspired from a TikTok. So I thought we'd make him a little treat. So I got these silicone mats for doing like a licking mat. And they have suction cups on the bottom. So you can just put it on the floor. I found this on Amazon, Buddy Butter. It's peanut butter for dogs and it's like pumpkin. We're getting into like the fall vibe. And then I also got pumpkin puree, some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. This has four sections, so we'll see. We'll see what I decide for the fourth quadrant. He is gonna be so excited. And I love that it also came with even this cute little spatula. to make you a little treat, Booney. First, we're gonna go in with the peanut butter. This is like oddly satisfying, but this is your sign to make your dog a nice little licking mat. This feels like art. <laughs> I feel like I'm in art class. <laughs> All right, we got the peanut butter on. I can't wait to try some fun fall recipes with you guys this fall. Do some fall baking, fall decorating. It's all coming soon. I don't think I'm gonna do any of that though until September. I just feel, <laughs> I feel like August is, it's always gonna be a summer month to me. Like, listen, I'm all here for decorating for Christmas in November. Like you gotta have a whole month before, but like that's how it is for fall. I feel like fall is September, October, the first half of November, and then it goes into Christmas mode. You know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see how early I decorate for Christmas this year, but I can't do fall until September. All right, I feel like that wasn't a lot of pumpkin puree, but we'll do another looking mat another day. Non-fat Greek yogurt over here. I don't think he's ever had some plain yogurt. I don't think he's ever had yogurt. <laughs> Listen, I'm very dedicated <laughs> to making this <laughs> as seamless as possible. This is actually kind of therapeutic. I need to bust open that paint by numbers I got at Target. <laughs> need to need to bust that open because that is what this kind of feels like. Okay, and I'm gonna treat this like dinner and use some of his fresh dog food for our last little quadrant. It's like this like slice and serve roll. But I'm gonna like <laughs> This is kind of gross. I'm so sorry. I'm basically just like mashing it in between. I should have done it in like the big holes here, but you know what? You live and you learn. Okay, cute. So we've got dog food, pumpkin puree, pumpkin peanut butter, and yogurt. So I'm gonna, I'm deciding, I'm gonna freeze it, right? People usually freeze these, but I feel like I don't want to freeze it. I feel like you could just enjoy it as it is. Oh, this is cute. It even says things you can use on it. Wet dog food, peanut butter, pumpkin puree, veggie puree, plain Greek yogurt, Bone broth, cottage cheese, mashed banana. Oh, I could have done banana. Yeah, it doesn't say, you don't have to freeze it. So I'm not gonna freeze it. I'm gonna give it to him um, for his dinner. Let it dry and then you can put it in the dishwasher. Love it. You already know something's going on. Here, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. He went for his food first. I don't know if he's like confused about the other stuff. Oh, he likes the yogurt. You like the yogurt? Yummy? Yummy. What about pumpkin? Oh, what do we think of the peanut butter? <laughs> he's like, what <laughs> is this in my mouth? All right, he's trying the pumpkin. He keeps going back to his food first, I think because it's familiar. <laughs> So he's kind of giving up. <laughs> 
He's been going at this for like 10 minutes. There's still a lot left in there, babe. There's still a lot in there. You gotta keep licking. <laughs> you done? Oh, you got peanut <laughs> got peanut butter on your beard. All right, remember when I said it was too hot to wear makeup? Well, we got some rain. It's like, well, it's, it was humid. It cooled down a little bit and we're going on date night tonight. So I'm going to do a little makeup. I washed my hair last night, so it's nice and clean. I don't know what it's doing, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna wear my hair up, but we're gonna go to the mall and have dinner at the mall at Cheesecake Factory. It's one of my favorites. I have not been there in so long and Yar wants to take me to my fave. So we're gonna go there and then also just like poke around some stores. We're probably not gonna shop, it's like window shop, but it'll be fun. So let's do like some heat friendly makeup. I'm gonna go in with my Milk Hydro Grip. And I got a few new products in PR today from Pop Beauty. So I thought we could play with them. I've got this it's kind of Barbie vibes. So I don't know if that was on purpose. Light Show palette. And then this Volume Plumping Gloss and then this Prismatic Pop Highlighter Palette. So I thought we could play with those. Oh, and I also have these liquid highlighters from Laura Mercier as well. I have a hard time with liquid highlights because I feel like once I powder, they don't like look as good and I can't put like cream products on top of powder because they look chunky, but we'll see. I am gonna do double wear because even though I'm not gonna be wearing this makeup very long, I need it to not come off if I get sweaty. I'm so low on both of these. You can see how little, no you can't. It's like when the light is behind it, but I have hardly any left. This is my summer shade 3C2. Trust me, it will look better when it's all blended out. I promise you. Wow, this one is so empty. And we're back on the Shape Tape grind to see how much better it looks once it's blended. I feel like foundation, Never looks right at first, but then you blend it. I'm a little red here. I'm not sunburnt. I'm, it looks like it on camera. I'm not sunburnt, y'all. And we're going to use the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. This is so good. I'm back on my nose contour grind. I mean, honestly, this summer I haven't worn makeup too much. Um, I have a deeper shade as well that I'm just gonna do right on that outer kind of contoured area. This stuff just like blends out like butter. All right, concealer and contours blended out. This has been so good since I got it. I did a little TikTok get ready with me using it and it's amazing. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Blush in the shade Big Ego. It looks a little intimidating. It's so beautiful though, especially like for summer. This is gonna be my summer blush until we move to like a fall color. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna wear this anytime but it just feels very summery and like in the Barbie era that we've been in. And this is the brush that I always use to apply my blush. It's just the e.l.f. Air Blush, Air Brush Blender. And it is so easy to apply my cream product with. Isn't it cute? And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of like soften up the outer parts of it so it's a little less harsh around my concealer, but such, a gorgeous blush. And now I can go in and bake my under eyes because seriously guys, I really don't, I'm jealous. I don't understand how people can apply cream products on top of their powder. I see it all the time. I remember the first time I saw it, I think it was Alex Earl, and I was just so confused. I was like, how is she putting cream on top of powder? I just feel like it always will come out chunky. Like how on earth? <laughs> Maybe it depends what it is. I don't know, but. I'm also going to cut my contour. You know, why not go full glam for date night? You know what I mean? Most days we don't put on any makeup, so it's kind of fun to go all out, but I've done a little bit of natural makeup lately, which you guys actually really liked. So I appreciate that little feedback. And I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier translucent powder, set my forehead, and I'm gonna throw on a quick eyebrow. Okay, the base is set. And I am now gonna show you guys how I cannot do liquid. I'm really taking a risk here. I'm really taking a risk doing liquid over, over my powder. But my face is set. Here is the Laura Mercier Liquid Highlighter in the shade Champagne Pink. And we're just gonna see if it's a miracle or not. I'm telling you, I can't do, 
I can't do it. Yeah. Yep. See how it just like, no matter how much I blend it, it will look like just a chunk, a pat, it gets patchy. Why did I, why did I do this? This is so dumb. This was a mistake. <laughs> I know you, it might look okay on camera, but it, in real life, it looks like I can see the outline of it. You know what I mean? It's not the worst one I've ever done, but it's not good. And now I have to do it to the other side or I'm gonna feel off. And then I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna try to cover it with powder product in attempt make it look better it's really pretty but i just don't recommend putting yeah like look at this line Ugh. why did i do this oh see how it pulls off my product oh my god this was an intrusive thought i just want it's almost like i just wanted to show you yeah it pulled off of the product underneath okay let's go in with our powder products and see if we can revive I'm taking some Matte Minoy bronzer from, I'm probably saying that wrong, from Physicians Formula. And we're gonna do some bronze. Oh yeah, no, this looks, it looks okay on camera. I swear it looks a little wonky in real life. And then the Dior Rosy Glow Blush looks perfect with the cream one. Such a beautiful combo. And let's try this new Prismatic Pop. Pink Champagne Highlight Palette. Oh no, it broke. It broke in transit, but I'm gonna use the pinky tone. I feel like it will match really well. Ooh. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Especially when you put like highlight powder over a cream highlight, it's just like so glowy. I do feel like that helped putting those products on top. I can still in real life see a little bit of where the highlight was and I will not be doing it again <laughs> you know I think we recovered it enough to not have to like redo our base and we're gonna set it down with some morphe setting mist I love the way that this feels kind of gives back a little bit of hydration after you put on powder and it just feels so good to put it on okay surprise I'm done <laughs> so the pop palette has um, it like, was super broken in the mail. So I ended up just doing like a smoky eye. It kind of just happened. It wasn't supposed to be this smoky, but um, I'm embracing my natural lashes. I don't like this lip color, so I'm gonna take it off. So I have lip liner on and we're gonna try this Pop Beauty, just like this kind of, I don't know if it's clear. Oh, it's fuchsia. I've never tried their plump plout product. Oh my God, this is so cute. Good. Oh, that. <laughs> That's very pink, that's very pink, but it's kind of on brand with all the pink we've done today. Oh wow, that's way more pigmented than I expected. <gasps> Wait, this is so pretty. Oh, I do have on like kind of a nude lip liner, so it might kind of mute it a little, but you can see how, whoa, so pigmented. I will say it's very enjoyable to apply, it's like, it just goes on really nice, it's kind of minty. It's not like, so far anyway, it's not like painfully plumping. I can't wear this lip color. I just wanted to try it on. I can't wear this. <laughs> I'm way too, I don't know. I, this kind of lip, I just feel like it's too much with this smoky eye. I don't know, this is gorgeous. It does just feel really good on the lips though, wow. It's comfortable, it's really comfortable. Anyway, um, let me let it sit for a minute. Let me think about it. I have no idea what to do with my hair. I will check back in later when we're heading out and show you guys like the final look of the night. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back actually. I forgot that I got this off of TikTok shop and I wanna test it out for you guys and tell you if it's good. So it's like this straightening comb and everyone has been like raving about it. I always see people, you know, trying it on TikTok, and then there was like a coupon so i basically got it for free so i thought i would try it out for you guys and tell you if it works because i love doing like a beauty product review it is just so much fun and my hair since it's like air dried it would be the perfect way to test it because i've seen people use it and it like they kind of flip it and it gives them like this amazing blowout effect. So I'm sure you can get this, not just on TikTok. I'll find it and I'll link it for you guys. So here's what it comes with. We've got the actual product here and it's 
got a carrying case, which is awesome. And it's like this heated brush. It's so interesting to look at. It's heated. Um, it's this little brush. This is so cute. It comes with this little brush. Cute. And then a glove so you don't burn your hands and even a little hair clip. Okay, so I put in a little dry shampoo that's still drying up north. And I'm going to use some heat protectant. These are both the ones that I used from Beach Waver. Okay, so this can go up to 410. I put it on 350. So people were like having amazing results with like one pass. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see here. All right, see how this piece has like some waviness? So I'm just gonna brush through it. Oh my God, it was silky smooth. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is quick. Okay, I definitely get the hype on this. This whole section here actually fits in here. And I'm gonna do a little swoop at the bottom. Okay, wow, look at how silky straight that is. Wow, I need to try to like do a little curl with it. Kind of hard, got a little, little bit. Curl, 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 okay. There she is. Wow, look how shiny. This thing's amazing. Like doing this in small sections, but like you can actually kind of fit a lot in there. This thing is powerful. This is my first pass. Wow. I need to get better at doing the little curl at the end. It's kind of hard. Maybe I should just do it straight. Either way, so far I am very impressed. All right, I'm gonna rub out my dry shampoo. My hair is like clean, but I don't know. There's something nice about giving it like a little bit of texture. My hair just feels better with dry shampoo. Even when it's like silky clean, I just prefer a little dry shampoo. Okay, so you guys can see all this waviness. So we'll do one pass. Silky straight, that's wild. I almost feel like I like just going down it like this for, wow, oh my God. This brush is wild. It's so fast. It is just so fast. Oh, I forgot to do, oh, I forgot to do heat protectant. I don't know, I can't understand how quick this thing is. And like, I'm sure touching up would be so quick with it too. All right, I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm doing the top and like see if we can get some volume, but wow. Before and after in like five seconds. A few minutes later. Okay, so I have been playing around with it and it is amazing. I'm having a hard time getting the kind of like blowout look that I saw people getting. It is like amazing. It does make your hair, look at that shine. And I'm telling you, it took maybe five minutes really, really, really fast. It is just silky and straight. I am, like I said though, I'm having a little bit of a hard time with getting it to like flip like I've seen people do. I don't know, I, this is like a straightening tool. It's not made to like, you know, give you a blowout look or anything. Um, but I saw people achieving that. And I'm just like, why can't I get it to do that? <laughs> but I'll probably keep playing around with it. But in terms of like quick straightening, this thing is absolutely like, outstanding so let me know if you have any tips or tricks for getting it to do like a blowout vibe i think i am gonna do a little swoop i'm so glad you guys like are co-signing the side part because i do feel like it just i don't know i just feel like it is such a vibe i do love the middle part you know i do don't get me wrong <laughs> but i do feel like a side part is just like very romantic especially when you do like kind of a swoop up here just I don't know, something pretty about it. All right, don't be mad at me. I put my hair up in a clip. I know, I know, I'd be mad at me too. So for the date night outfit, these jeans are from Target. I don't remember the brand. There's something different. Um, I got them on sale on the Cape. Do you guys remember? Uh, this tank is from Amazon. It's like a Skims dupe. It's amazing. And then these are some kind of Chanel looking slides, but they're from Torrid. I just love them and I barely wear them, so. Here's the fit, and then I'm wearing this across, which I think looks really cute. 
So let's go have dinner and poke around. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't realize the flash was gonna turn on. <laughs> Guys, we just got here and we got parking right at the door and this is the part that's usually really busy. We are manifesting good vibes. It's the next day. We didn't even end up walking around the mall last night because it was closing. So the timing, we didn't really think that one through when it came to like the mall because we were actually at Cheesecake for like a really long time. It was like kind of busy. Overall, just kind of like a slow experience, which was fine. I'm okay with taking my sweet time. Go ahead, sir. This is your sign to let people go in traffic today, you guys. Just let people go. Do something good. Don't you want someone to let you go, you know, when you're in traffic and such? It's your turn. Spread the good energy. We are drinking a Kim Aid. This stuff has really grown on me, surprisingly. Anyway, we're headed to the gym. Today's Friday. Total body workout day. And then my mom and I are going to the beach later today. She has an appointment at 11. So we're gonna go to the beach after. We're probably gonna hit so much rush hour traffic when we're coming home from the beach because we're going to be going like later but we still want to go because <laughs> we got to soak up these last few weeks of summer listen i love fall with my whole heart i'm a fall girl through and through you guys know this but people who are decorating for fall right now <laughs> good for you but also i'm not ready <laughs> i will never judge someone decorating early because like me um i think it's great but i'm just not ready myself because it's just it's still summer august is summer in my opinion because it's hot it's hot it honestly like low-key it's still summer through most of september in terms of like the weather anywho i'm definitely gonna start like getting into some fall shopping though even though i'm not gonna be like decorating or whatever I've been seeing you guys, I've been seeing your comments about when is fall shopping starting. And I'm gonna start planning out some fall fashion stuff. But anyway, I just want to say good morning and I'm gonna go work out and then we're going to the beach. All right, you guys, I'm back home from my workout. Such a good workout today. I found like the perfect little corner. I got like one clip. But it's nice when you find like a little corner to just hide in. So um, I am packing up some beach stuff for my mom and I for lunch. I'm going to bring these grapes. These grapes are so good. They're like massive and super crunchy. Some Cheez-Its. I made my mom a turkey sandwich. I made myself a little tuna wrap here on a little low carb wrap. And I'm going to pack this up in our cooler. You guys, I don't know what's going on. I just showed it yesterday, the black one piece from Amazon. Can't find it anywhere. I actually feel like I'm losing my mind. I cannot find it anywhere. So I put on the red one and I was so excited to wear the black one because <laughs> I love this bathing suit. You see no tan lines. Your girl has been committed to a no tan line summer. <sighs> I, I looked everywhere. I, I don't know. I'll keep looking another time because my mom is almost here, but <laughs> I have the cooler packed. At least now I match the cooler. And CHA, CHA, I can't say it or Bruno will get excited, is coming and they're going to have a little play date here while we are at the beach. Oh, I don't know. I have the cooler, but I don't even have my other stuff packed. Hold on. <laughs> I'm a mess. Okay, so here's what I'm bringing to the beach today. My little Walmart towel. Super cute. And this red is like the same as my bathing suit. My little roll-up Amazon hat that can let your head breathe but give you face sun protection. And then in this little bag here, I have all of my different sunscreens. Some for my face, body, oils, all types of stuff. And I'm going to use this bag. I've had this bag forever. I'm going to use this one today. Um because it holds just a little bit more than my pink one. I don't mind the sand getting in it. Some people were saying that one isn't great for the beach because it has like holes in it, but like the sand, it's so easy to clean. So it's kind of like, it's good and bad. You know what I mean? We also got new dental chews for Bruby. These are you for tomorrow. Um, Yar gives him his dental chew every morning. He gets so excited. So we got these. This is what our um, vet recommended because we've been using like... What is that popular one called? I don't know, we use one of the popular brands. I can't remember. This one kind of expensive, <laughs> but she said it's like really 
the best one, I think. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Only the best for you. We want you to live forever and have the best little teethies with your little splooty legs. A few moments later. Look who's here. Chachi girl. Oh, my goodness. It's a dog party. You guys want to see the funniest thing ever? <laughs> okay, so. the last time we were here, the showers were not working. And I don't like being sticky. I don't like that we put a salt in the sand and sweat. If just in case they were still broken today, I brought my own water. Just in case the showers are still take broken. This, like rinse off. Because <laughs> uh, I don't like it being sticky. So innovative. Okay, you guys, I am home and showered. We are just going to have like a chill night tonight eat dinner and we're watching the big con on apple tv right now but yeah i'm importing this footage and i think this vlog is getting pretty long but we had such a nice day at the beach sorry it's kind of hard to vlog at the beach because it's like so windy but we had a great time so thank you guys for watching this vlog i am so grateful for all of you i love you and i will see you again in a few days bye